Hello everyone, I am Sojit Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is on dissection of a frog. The frog I have taken that is Indian bullfrog and the scientific name of this frog is Holobetricus tigrinus. So in this video I will demonstrate its dissection. I will demonstrate its digestive system. So before going to the dissection, we should know about it classification. The classification of this frog is the phylum chordata group, caniata, subphylum vertebrata, division gantostomata. Superclass tetrapoda, class amphibia, order anura, family renidae, genus uh, Holopetricus uh, species uh, tigrinus. Now, habit uh, and habitat of this uh, frog is uh, this frog found in uh, uh, ponds, uh, mud, uh, and also the paddy fields. As you can find this frog, they feed on various type of insects, uh, invertebrates, uh, mice, crew, young frogs, uh, arthrom, etc. Many so on. Now, the characters of this uh, frog. Uh, you can see it's a dorsal surface. It's a dorsal surface. You can see olive green or some black patches are there, and this is the vertebral uh, this is a vertebral line, from starting from a snout to the posterior part. And this uh, hin, you can see the hin lengths are. Uh, longer than the four limbs these are the four limbs four limbs are shorter than these hind limbs hind limbs are longer which help them for the jumping hopping for that purpose body is divided into two region head and the trunk now you can see the temp uh, uh, you can see the tympanic membrane or tympanum in this region you can see this is the tympanum region which is the uh, also known as external ears this is the eyes you can see the nostrils you can see the four uh, only the four diseases are there in the four in the four limbs and the hind limbs there is a five you can see one, two, three, four, five. Five diseases are present in the hind limbs, and this is the. You can see. Hind limbs. This is thigh part. Now. I have uh, hope you have understand. This is the hind limbs. This is the thigh region the sangs part this is the elongated you can see this is the elongated ankles this is the toes this is the toes now cloaca is present in this posterior region you can see this in this region the cloaca is present I, I will try to show you in this region you can see this is the cloaca from the all the extra uh, unnecessary or waste materials uh, is secreted from this part cloacal aperture it is said a cloacal aperture one thing I, I forgot to say that uh, in the hind region you can see the waves are present uh, you can see the these waves the waves are present uh, which help them to swim in the uh, in the water Now, I already said now, you can see the venter region, venter region, you can see that uh, the white uh, in color, sometimes it is uh, uh, yellowish white, uh, it is the mouth part, in the upper jaw, the teeth are present, sir. 
maxillary is uh, the teeth are present in the lower jaw there is uh, no teeth these are the eyes uh, you can see now you have seen that uh, i have fixed uh, this uh, frog uh, in a platform so now i will dissect uh, the frog uh, from uh, ventral uh, from ventral side so that a digestive system can be observed so let's start its dissection you should dissect it from this posterior region take the forcep then the knife uh, scissor sorry i have I miss I said knife then make a small cut in this way make a small cut then slowly should go by cutting in this way be careful so that the organ can be cut as a small elite but if you need to be study then use it otherwise don't kill any organism without any purpose i have cut this for the practical purpose or study purpose otherwise i will not cut this organism without any kind of reason make cut from up to the and up to the this mouth part now to cut uh, in this way and uh, in this direction i will make again cut i will hold this uh, by the forcep now in this the scissor is not so sharp so take a scalpel and cut it you can see the veins so clearly then in this direction also now you can see that i have cut uh, and the skin uh, from this part in this direction in this this direction and this direction also now with the help of the scalpel uh, make a cut uh, from the this uh, anterior to the posterior so that uh, this organ can be visible easily when you using the scalpel be careful so that uh, the organ will be saved uh, otherwise it will be damaged slowly make a cut uh, slowly in this part the sternum is present so it is i will cut from the scissor uh, scissor
Now you can see that uh, I have cut uh, in this way. Now slowly you can see this is the heart. clear it slowly then you can observe the every organs of the this organism or this frog I have cut this clavicle so you can hear the sound You have seen that how I cut the this frog from ventral side. Now you can see the organs. All the organs you can see that. Uh, sorry for distance. This uh, house flies are very disturbing. You can you know that uh, when anything is happen or any blood is there, that these house flies are always flying around that blood. I as I've cut this frog so left this uh, now you can see this is the heart you you can see this is a heart pumping the blood you can see that it's a the beat is the beating is this you can see the heart is the three chambered uh, as you know that uh, in amphibian there's a three chambered heart uh, two uh, two auricles and one uh, ventricles three chambered heart uh, two of auricles and one ventricles now you can see this uh, red is pink you can see it is uh, lungs one in the right not your side from the frog from frog you can see this is the right lungs and uh, this is the left lungs of the frog now you can see the liver this is the liver liver is a three part one is uh, I will show you that uh, this is the right part and uh, the right liver right part this is the left part and this is the median part the liver is a three part divide it divide it into three part three lobes uh, you can see one two and three now you can see now I will try to show you this is the white you can see it's a are uh, the fat bodies as frog uh, doesn't require the many fat bodies like us uh, it only have a small portions uh, as you can see it is slightly coming uh, alive uh. so in this region uh, you can see this is the kidney one is a uh, right kidney I will show you you can see the in this region uh, you can see this white part uh, this is the right kidney and there's also a left kidney in this side uh, you can see this is the left kidney now this is the stomach you can see this is uh, white uh, this large sac is a uh, stomach this is the white side you can see it is a stomach the stomach part then uh, this is the intestines you can see this is the intestine small intestine then it is the large intestine this is the this black in color you can see this is the rectum this is the rectum part in a down region you can see the urinary bladder in this uh, region you can see the urinary bladder the, now once again I will uh, say you that uh, this is the heart which is three chambered 
this is the lungs two lungs this is the liver which is uh, three lobes uh, right left and median uh, one thing i have forgot to say that uh, this you can see this uh, blue in color you can see this is uh, the gall bladder this is the gall you can see this is the gall bladder you can see this is the gall bladder which i forgot to say in first so this is the gall bladder the liver this is the stomach this is the intestine small in their duodenum is present the large intestine this is the large intestine this is a rectum you can also see the kidney this is the kidney and this is a kidney right kidney and there are the left kidney the left kidney and uh, these are the this yellow you can see yellow part this is the fat bodies uh, and if you want to see the backbone you can see this is the this uh, white uh, part uh, is the backbone of the frog you can see this is a backbone this has the muscles uh, which are present now you can in there also the fat bodies are also present if you see the diagram you can easily understand how it is present same you can see that in diagram i hope you have seen the diagram the structure is fully same so these are the fat bodies now this is the dissection of the frog and it's a digestive system and some internal organs lungs heart i hope you have understand sir, today's sir, video now at last i want to say that uh, if you study something uh, I, if you want to study in some kind of organism uh, then uh, you, you need to kill but uh, unnecessary reason don't kill the any animals uh, or any birds any animals uh, don't kill if you have any kind of go, uh, reason to kill or uh, need to kill then you kill but uh, unnecessary reason don't kill any animals uh, because they also have the right to survive in this uh, art uh, as we survive so if you have a good reason or uh, you need to be uh, killed that that uh, organism for your study or any kind of purpose uh, then you kill otherwise don't kill any organism so i hope you understand today's uh, video so if you like uh, today's video give a like comment and share with your friends uh, and also subscribe to my channel to get uh, more notification of the practical uh, video and also the lectures so thank you have a nice day